Hi everybody, welcome to the trending streams here on the World Wide Web. Please, please subscribe and click and hit the bell to get those latest video notifications. If you don't get those notifications, just refresh this channel at least once a week to see what's going down in the world of trending news. Well, this was a big one here. Uh, one of the Bachelor uh, guys or whatever, uh, you know, that was on The Bachelor. Lots of controversy and stuff like that. Eventually, I guess, came out and he was claimed to be a heterosexual, but here it is. He said he ate himself for a long time. The Bachelor star Colton Underwood, 29, comes out as he says he's gay. Reveals he was, uh, you know, he wants to take himself out over his sexuality and apologizes to women on the show. You see, the 29-year-old came out during an, an emotional interview on GMA, revealing to host Robin Roberts, who herself is... I believe a homosexual, uh, that he never thought he would be able to come out publicly. Well, why did he? Well, again, this is all for publicity and for agendas. Colton, who appeared on uh, three seasons of the Bachelor franchise, said that for a long time he would have rather you know, been taken out than say he was gay. He admittedly that he attempted you know, suicide, explaining that there were moments in L.A. when he was thinking... He was uh, uh, he was going to go wake up. Former NFL star Colton made his debut on the Bachelor franchise back in 2018 when he viewed for the heart of Bachelor Becca. During the show, he revealed to Becca that he was a virgin and was later labeled the Virgin Bachelor when he went to star on his own series. So this guy was playing the game. He revealed that Robert, that he thought was uh, being chosen to star as the Bachelor, was a sign, uh, you know, God had made him straight or whatever. The former football player said he has known he is different since the age of six, but has grown up Catholic. So there you go again. That's another, you know, big sign, right? The Jesuit, Catholic, get it? It's all part of the system. He was taught that being gay is a sin. Well, hey, you know the truth on that. Colton previously revealed that he questioned sexuality after years of being bullied over his uh, absence from whatever. And so anyway, of course, he's writing a book, right? He has to write a book the first time he's sharing, you know, again, guys, and, you know, ABC, NBC, CB, uh, NBC, ABC, CBS, all part of it. We know uh, ABC is uh, from Disney. We know what they have been promoting. And so there he is. It's the big sham scam, playing the role, right? All these things. And guys, you know, hey, it is what it is. You know my thoughts on it. I've talked about it on The Truth Never Sleeps. I can't talk about it here. But you know the DL, the down low. It's all part of it. Now you go, oh, yeah, right, Sonny. The guy knew this and that. Well, there are systems that are promoting this. Of course, Kid Cuddy or whatever, rapper, pays tribute to Nirvana singer Kurt Cobain by wearing a floral print dress or performing it Saturday in Saturday Night Live. So here he is, uh, 27 years ago last week. So he did a tribute. A 37-year-old Cuddy's real name is Scott, paying tribute to his legacy by wearing a floral print. And this is something that has been going on again for years. It's just not here now. This is, again, the what they're promoting. Again, you can believe whatever you want. I have to say that. But, you know, come on, man. And uh, here you see Kurt Cobain wearing a dress as well. Uh, just promoting it. Doesn't mean it matter. Rapper, rocker uh, in the in the system. How Hollywood, Hollywood, this is what they promote. Now, you don't want to believe that. Again, again, just showing you that these, how, you know, it's just, you know, you got when I, you got to see how the, the dots are connected, how the game is played. Well, let's go. Uh, how the the media, GQ magazines are promoting this as well. SNL, we know they push a lot of the agendas. Kid Cudi's off-white SNL appearance is another sign that dresses for men now are becoming the norm. It's there, no debate, no deny. Um, you know, a lot of people look at Kurt Cobain and all these things. He was a part of the system as well. Uh, you know, just more and more. Here's his band members wearing it. All this. This is what they want. 
promoting the norm, promoting the norm that this is the system that they are pushing, right? You know, it is what it is. And, uh, you know, looking at Kid Cudi, just to show you where it's coming from, right? So all we have to do is go to his Instagram. They always show their signs and symbols. Here again, SNL, right, with the little dress there, smoke in his mouth. That's a symbolic, if you know what I mean, right? What is this here? A dude and a bearded guy kissing. Um, it is what it is. He's dating a girl, but who knows? But this is, again, where it's coming from. Boom, boom, boom. The one eye of the ill ones. And you know what that ill stands for. And it's right there in front of you. Hey, man, I'm just saying the system is right there. How about this? Big, big news. Again, covered all over the media today. Trending. Jennifer Lopez and Alex Rodriguez split. Finally, confirm their ending their four years romance, saying they're better off as friends after weeks of brushing off inaccurate rumors and infidelity claims. Well, the singer, 51, and former Yankee player, 45, confirmed they had ended their two-year engagement and four-year relationship on Thursday, stating they're better off friends. The announcements came months after rumors of strife first hit. The couple claims A-Rod was growing closer to reality star Madison LaCroix, 30, which sparked trouble. His alleged friendship with Madison was reported to be a factor of the split, while other sources close to the couple said that the breakup was long time coming. Despite reports, they said the split was... Uh, were inaccurate, but work, were, they were working through it, but now they're breaking up. You know, guys, these people are nothing but slut jobs. Let's just be honest. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, here, I guess, uh, claims it have been claimed that Rodriguez alleges friendship with Southern Charm star Madison, 30 pictured in January, was a factor in that claim. I don't know who she is, and I don't care. Uh, here it is with their family. Uh, we know these people, man. They, they just continuously, again, the, the world is pushing infidelity. Uh, you know, you know, this stuff, right? Uh, you know, this is what the system wants. They don't want people to have meaningful relationships. We know that Jennifer Lopez, I mean, you can't count how many times or how many boyfriends she's had. She's been married over three times. P. Diddy, Jen Affleck. I mean, you can't count, uh, you know, how many dudes this lady's been with. And then, guys, I hate to say it, you got A-Rod, A-Ho, I call him A-Ho, uh, whatever. This dude's dated everybody, too, uh, you know, from Cynthia, whatever, here, I guess he dated Madonna. A-Rod reportedly had an affair with Madonna. Uh, you know, and Melissa Britos. Uh, you know, again, these, these are beautiful women, but whatever. Again, Kate Hudson. Um, but dude, when you sleep with so many people, guys, and, and I'm going to tell you, Carmen Diaz, Hollywood. Uh, I met uh, Tori Wilson. She was a WWE wrestler. When you date so many people, as these people have been all over the block, it's no wonder they call Jenny from the block because she's been around more than the block, more than the mailman. And what happens is, guys, look at A-Rod dated Demi Moore, all these people. What you get, guys, is venereal diseases, hot celebrity, famous people with herpes in STDs, this isn't a game, this isn't a joke, this is how the game is played, they spread their diseases, it is what it is, it's straight up disgusting, to be honest with you, and uh, anyway, uh, you know, they want you to, oh look, they broke up, but these people have been around everywhere with everybody, it's disgusting, and it is what it is, guys. Instead of showing these famous people dating each other and they date everybody and their grandmother, they need to say the consequences. Look at this woman here with all her husbands and, and boyfriends. It's, it's gross. It literally is gross, man, what these people are all about. I mean, I can't count that I, 
how many times this woman's been with all these men. It's, it's just disgusting. But this is what they want to teach your daughters. Go ahead and sleep around with as many dudes. I mean, come on. I mean, it is what it is. Same thing with do you know, you know, teach your sons. It is what it is. It ends up in this trash. You're starting to see why these agendas are all out there making it the norm. It isn't the norm. We need to be unified and have one girl, you know, again, one solid relationship, build a family as the most high want it. Again, there you go. Do your research on it, guys. It is what it is. Uh, you know, and, and two, another thing real quick. The more, uh, more boyfriends, girlfriends, sleep arounds, all this, you have a harder trouble connecting with somebody. You start not trusting. This is what they want. They want people to slut around, whore around, and all these things. And when you do that, you can't put a bond with somebody. And that's how the game is played. Don't fall in to the ill ones and their agendas. Get born again. And there's definitely ramifications. Again, when you do these things, uh, it is what it is, guys. There you go. Um... Hope you have a blessed day. Please share these videos. Thank you for coming aboard the trending streams. Again, giving it to you raw. Take care. Bye-bye.